hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we want to continue our lesson on differential equations today we are going to look at differentiation of implicit functions an implicit function in two variables x and y is a function in which neither of the variables x and y can be easily expressed in terms of the other now basically what you are trying to say is that with this type of functions it is very difficult to isolate y on one side of the equation. Now let's solve some questions regarding implicit functions. So in our first question, we are going to find dy dx given that x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. Now to solve this question, first of all, what you need to consider is you need to differentiate term by term. And then secondly, whenever you differentiate a y term, you need to multiply it by dy dx. Or better still, whenever you differentiate a y term, you attach dy dx to it. So first of all, we need to differentiate term by term. Secondly, whenever you differentiate a y value, you attach dy dx to it. So let's start off with this example. Now we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. So first of all, we are going to differentiate each term with respect to x. So when you differentiate x squared, you get 2x. When you differentiate y squared, you have 2y. Now because you are differentiating a y term, you are going to attach dy dx to it. Or better still, you are going to multiply 2y by dy dx. If you differentiate 2, which is a constant, you have 0. Now, because we are finding dy dx, we are going to transpose 2x to the right-hand side. So, we have 2y dy dx is equal to negative 2. And then, because we want to find dy dx, we are going to divide through by 2y. So, finally, dy dx is equal to negative x over y so this is very simple this is how to solve or find the derivative of an implicit function now let's solve the second example or the second question so for the second question we have x cubed plus y cubed equals 3xy and we are asked to find dy dx so first of all let's differentiate term by term and then when we are differentiating a y value or a y term, we attach dy dx to it. So x cubed becomes 3x squared plus y cubed becomes 3y squared multiplied by dy dx equals. Now let's factor out 3 and then treat x and y as a product of the two. So we are going to use the product rule. Now according to the product rule, we maintain x and then we differentiate y. So when you differentiate y, you have 1. And because it is y we are differentiating, you multiply by dy dx. Plus, this time you maintain y. And then when you differentiate x, you have 1. Now let's multiply 3 across. So this becomes 3x dy dx plus 3y. Now because each term is multiplied by 3, we can cancel out the 3 for each term. So we can simplify this expression to have x squared plus y squared dy dx equals x dy dx plus y now because we want to find dy dx we are going to group terms containing dy dx on one side so we have y square dy dx and then we transpose x dy dx to the left hand side equals 
y minus x square so we factor out the y dx inside the brackets we have y square minus x equals y minus x square we divide through by y square minus x y square minus x so that the y dx is equal to y minus x square over y square minus x now let's solve question three we have x square minus 3xy plus 6y square equals 15. We are asked to find dy dx. So when you differentiate x square, you get 2x. We are going to apply the product rule here. So first of all, we maintain x, we differentiate y, which is 1, and then we multiply by dy dx because we are differentiating a y term. Plus, we maintain y, we differentiate x, we have 1. Now we close the bracket. Plus, when you differentiate 6y squared, you have 12y times dy dx equals when you differentiate a constant you get zero now let's simplify so we have 2x minus 3x dy dx minus 3y plus 12y dy dx equals zero now let's transpose the terms containing dy dx to the right hand side so we have 2x minus 3y equals 3x dy dx minus 12y dy dx let's factor out dy dx so that we have 3x minus 12 inside the bracket sorry minus 12y now we are going to divide through by 3x minus 12y therefore dy dx is equal to 2x minus 3y divided by 3x minus 12y so for the last question given that x square minus 3xy plus 2y square minus 2x is equal to 4 we are going to find the value of dy dx at the point 1 negative 1 So first of all, let's find dy dx from this implicit function. So we have x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared minus 2x equals 4. When you differentiate x squared, you have 2x. We maintain x. We differentiate y. It gives us 1. And then we multiply by dy dx plus we maintain y we differentiate x and then we close the bracket plus when you differentiate 2y square you have 4y times dy dx minus 2 now when you differentiate negative 2x you have negative 2 equals 0 when you differentiate a constant you have 0 now let's multiply negative 3 across 2x minus 3x dy dx minus 3y plus 4y dy dx minus 2 equals 0. 
Now let's group terms containing the y, the x on one side. So we are going to transpose terms containing the y, the x to the right hand side. So we have 2x minus 3y minus 2 equals 3x dy dx minus 4y dy dx. This is equal to 2x minus 3y minus 2. Now we are going to divide through by 3x minus 4y. So we have dy dx is equal to 2x minus 3y minus 2 divided by 3x minus 4y. Now from the question, we are to find the value of dy dx at the point 1, negative 1. So what this primarily means is that x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 1. So we are going to find the value of dy dx at the point 1, negative 1. So we are going to substitute 1 and negative 1 in place of x and y in dy dx. So dy dx is equal to 2 times 1 minus 3 times negative 1 minus 2 divided by 3 times 1 minus 4 times negative 1. Two times one is two negative three times negative one is plus three and then negative two three times one is three negative four times negative one is plus four two cancels out negative two we are left with three divided by three plus four is seven so it means that dy dx at the point 1, negative 1 is equal to 3 over 7. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.